Hey, good morning, guys. Um, I was actually just doing some reading because, you know, there's not all that much more to do. <laughs> and I am reading a book from one of my favorite authors, and it was Gabby Bernstein. And it's the book Judg Judgment Detox. And she writes about one of my favorite techniques or one of my favorite tips that I've been talking about a lot from the last year and a half in this feed. And um, I wanted to read one sentence to you, but to give you some context, I'm going to read a few sentences. And this is about judgment that we have on ourselves and some of the beliefs that we have on ourselves, that we end up making it true. And um, just because of that, we're believing them and they become into a habit. So uh, Gabby writes, we become fragmented in the state of separation and lose our connection with our inner being. In this disconnected state, we inadvertently turn our back on our inner being and become obsessed with our outward projection of who we think we really are. So these are things that we repeat all day. These are our self-judgment thoughts that we repeat. Things like, I am not good enough. Oh, my arm is shaking again. I just did a workout. Um, I'm not good enough, I, why did I make this mistake, or I am ugly, I'm not smart enough. Those are some really common ones. And if you repeat a behavior over and over, you, know, you strengthen your neural pathways. That's you know becoming your habit. And in time, that becomes second nature. So same with our thoughts. So here's that sentence I wanted to read. A belief is just a thought you keep thinking. Uh, you, you, you create your reality with the thoughts you repeat and the beliefs that you align with that. So this kind of goes along with the tip that I've been talking about a lot with the visualization because if, if you've had something happen to you in the past um, and you've had a lot of frustration or sadness or limitations around it and you end up believing that about yourself and you keep thinking about that story, your brain is not going to know that you're just thinking it. It thinks you're reliving it. So it becomes more true and true, and it becomes who you, who you really are. It becomes your identity. So these thoughts that we think about all day, and especially it, it really, you, need a, you need to put an emotion with it, your brain really thinks that is happening. So how we can reverse this is do a visualization with a, an emotional thought, and picture it as much as you can. Like Tony Robbins used to say to his people, he used to put the, you know, he does a lot of those events and pulls up someone from the audience and has them visualize that they're in a movie. So when you're in a movie, you have your surroundings, you have the smells, you have the sounds. And he's trying to make it as real as possible. And you go through this movie and you make it end the way that you want it to. So with the reason, I always thought that was silly. I was like, why are you having them do this? But the reason why he's doing it is because it's putting your brain on board. Your brain is actually thinking you're living it. It does not know the difference between an experience or a thought if you are attaching all that information with it and those emotions. So we can reverse how we want some things to lay out for us. So if you're dating the same guys over and over that keep putting you in these horrible relationship um emotional eating, coming home and snapping to the kids and yelling at them because you just had a horrible day and this becomes a habit and you just feel so bad about yourself or drinking habits. You can actually think these on the way that you want them to go and have it turn out the way that you want it to and eventually you're, you will start to do things without even thinking about it that align with the habit that you want. So... Um, I will post a link in the comments. I think I have a video about doing visualizations and um, how to really get your connection going. It's something that is so powerful and works really well if you do it right and it's actually simple to do. So um, something that works so well, I would take advantage of that because you can get out of some of these limiting beliefs that you have on yourself. Anyway, um, I have some errands to run. It's a beautiful Saturday, and I'll be working in the yard all day. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.